Good morning and welcome to our midweek moment. There was a certain professor of religion named Dr. Christensen who taught at a small college in the Western US. Dr. Christensen taught a required survey course in Christianity at this particular institution and every student was required to take his course, his or her freshman year, regardless of their major. Although Dr. Christensen tried hard to communicate the essence of the gospel in his class, he found that most of his students looked upon the course as nothing but required drudgery. Despite his best efforts, most students refused to take Christianity seriously. This year, Dr. Christensen had a special student named Steve. Steve was only a freshman, but was studying with the intent of going on to seminary for the ministry. Steve was popular, he was well-liked, and he was an imposing physical specimen. He was the starting center on the school football team and was the best student in the professor's class. One day, Dr. Christensen asked Steve to stay after class so he could talk to him. How many push-ups can you do? Steve said, I do about 200 every night. 200? That's pretty good, Steve, said Dr. Christensen. Do you think you could do 300? Steve replied, I don't know. I've never done 300 at a time. Do you think you could? Again, asked Dr. Christensen. Well, I can try, said Steve. Can you do 300 in sets of 10? I have a class project in mind, and I need you to do about 300 push-ups in sets of 10 for this to work correctly. Can you do it? I need you to tell me if you can do it, said the professor. Steve said, well, I think I can. Yeah, I can do it. And Dr. Christensen said, good. I need you to do this on Friday. Let me explain what I have in mind. So Friday came and Steve got to class early and sat in the front of the room. And when class started, the professor pulled out a big box of donuts. These weren't the normal kind of donuts. They were the extra fancy big kind with cream centers and frosting swirls. Everybody was pretty excited it was Friday, the last class of the day, and they were going to get an early start on the weekend with a party in Dr. Christensen's class. Well, Dr. Christensen went to the first girl in the first row and said, Cynthia, do you want to have one of these donuts? Cynthia said, yes. And Dr. Christensen then turned to Steve and asked, Steve, would you do 10 push-ups so that Cynthia can have a donut? Sure. Steve jumped down from his desk and did a quick 10. And then Steve sat back in his desk and Dr. Christensen put a donut on Cynthia's desk. Dr. Christensen then went to Joe and, and the next person, who was the next person, and he said, Joe, do you want a donut? Joe said, yeah. Dr. Christensen turned to Steve and said, would you do 10 push-ups so that Joe can have a donut? Steve did 10 push-ups and Joe got a donut. And so it went down the first aisle. Steve did 10 push-ups every time a person got a donut and down the second aisle till Dr. Christensen came to Scott. Scott was on the basketball team and in good condition as Steve. He was very popular and never lacked for female companionship. And when the professor said, Scott, do you want a donut? Scott's reply was, well, I can do my own push-ups." And Dr. Christensen says, no, Steve has to do them. And then Scott said, well, then I don't want one. And Dr. Christensen shrugged and said, as he turned to Steve, Steve, would you do 10 push-ups so that Scott can have a donut that he doesn't want? With perfect obedience, Steve started to do the 10. Scott said, hey, I didn't want one. Dr. Christensen said, look, this is my classroom, my class, my desks, and these are my donuts. Just leave it on the desk if you don't want it. And he put a donut on Scott's desk. Now, by this time, Steve had begun to slow down a little. He stayed on the floor between the sets because it took too much effort to get up and down. 
you could start to see a little perspiration coming out around his brow. Dr. Christensen started down the third row. Now the students were beginning to get a little angry. Dr. Christensen asked Jenny, Jenny, do you want a donut? Sternly, Jenny said, no. And then Dr. Christensen asked Steve, Steve, would you do 10 more push-ups so Jenny can have a donut that she doesn't want? Steve did 10, and Jenny got a donut. By now, a growing sense of uneasiness was filling the room. The students were beginning to say no, and there were all these uneaten donuts on the desks. Steve also had to really put in a lot of effort to get these push-ups done for each donut. There began to be a small pool of sweat on the floor beneath his face. His arms and his brow were beginning to get red because of all the physical effort involved. Dr. Christensen started down that fourth row. During his class, however, some of the students from other classes had wandered in and sat down on the steps along the radiators that ran down the sides of the room. When the professor realized this, he did a quick count and he saw that now there were 34 students in the room. He started to worry if Steve would be able to make it. Dr. Christensen went on to the next person and the next and the next. Near the end of that row, Steve was really having a rough time. He was taking a lot more time to complete each one of the sets of 10. And a few minutes later, Jason, a recent transfer student, came into the room and was about to come in when all the students yelled in one voice, No! Don't come in! Stay out! Jason didn't know what was going on. And Steve picked up his head and said, No, let him come. Professor Christensen said, you realize that if Jason comes in, then you'll have to do 10 more push-ups for him. Steve said, yes, let him come in, give him a donut. Dr. Christensen said, okay, Steve, I'll let you get Jason's out of the way right now. Jason, do you want a donut? And Jason, new to the room, hardly knew what was going on. He said, yes, give me a donut. Steve Will you do 10 push-ups so that Jason can have a donut? Steve did 10 push-ups very slowly and with great effort. Jason was bewildered and was handed a donut and sat down. Dr. Christensen finished the fourth row and then started on those visitors seated by the heaters. Steve's arms were now shaking with each push-up in a struggle to lift himself against the force of gravity. Sweat was dripping profusely off his face, and by this time there was no sound except his heavy breathing. There wasn't a dry eye in the room. The very last students in the room were both two young women, cheerleaders and very popular. And Dr. Christensen went to Linda, second to last, and said, Linda, do you want a donut? Linda said, very sadly, no thank you. Professor Christensen quietly asked Steve, would you do 10 push-ups so that Linda can have a donut she doesn't want? Grunting from the effort, Steve did 10 very slow push-ups for Linda. And then Dr. Christensen turned to the last girl, Susan, and said, Susan, do you want a donut? Susan, with tears flowing down her face, began to cry and said, Dr. Christensen, why can't I help him? Dr. Christensen, with tears of his own, said, No, Steve has to do it alone. I've given him this task, and he's in charge of seeing that everyone has an opportunity for a donut, whether they want it or not. When I decided to have this party, the last day of class, I looked at my grade book. Steve's the only student with a perfect grade. Everyone else has failed a test, skipped class, or offered me inferior work. Steve told me that when a player messes up in football practice, he must do push-ups. And I told Steve that none of you could come to my party unless he paid the price by doing your push-ups. He and I made a deal for your sake. Steve, would you do 10 push-ups so that Susan can have a donut? 
as Steve very slowly finished his last push-up, with the understanding that he'd accomplished all that was required of him. Having done 350 push-ups, his arms buckled beneath him and he fell to the floor. Dr. Christensen turned to the room and said, and so it was that our Savior, Jesus Christ, on the cross pled to the Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. With the understanding that he'd done everything that was required of him, he'd yielded up his life. And like some of those in this room, many of us leave the gift on the desk uneaten. Two students helped Steve up off the floor into a seat, physically exhausted, but wearing a thin smile. Well done, good and faithful servant, said the professor, adding, not all sermons are preached in words. And turning to the class, the professor said, my wish is that you might understand and fully comprehend all the riches of grace and mercy that have been given to you through the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for all of us. And whether we choose to accept his gift to us the price has been paid. Wouldn't you be foolish and ungrateful to leave it lying on the desk?